and propulsion would solve the looming energy crisis definitively. You don't need cars unless you've got an internal combustion engine. Well, if you have one of these units, you know, that's about 16 inches long and about 8 inches high and about 10 inches wide, then you don't need to plug into Kit Carson, the local electric company. It burns nothing, no pollution, okay? It never wears out because there's no moving parts. Denny Klein uses an alternative fuel source once thought impossible. He says people still have trouble believing him when he reveals his liquid fuel. Water. Take water and electricity and we break it down through our uh, very unique electrolysis process. Klein has just patented his process of converting H2O to HHO, producing a gas that combines the atomic power of hydrogen with the chemical stability of water. It turns right back to water. You see the water running off of it. Klein originally designed his water-burning engine for cutting metal. He thought his invention would replace volatile acetylene in welding factories. And then one day, as he drove to his laboratory in Clearwater, he thought of another way to burn his HHO gas. On a 100-mile trip, uh, we use about four ounces of water. Klein says his prototype 1994 Ford Escort can travel exclusively on water, though he currently has it rigged to run as a water and gasoline hybrid. Simply uh, speaking, it can change the world by reducing our dependence on fossil fuels. These are equivalent to our... Uh... Pete Dominici is helping Klein take his hydrogen technology patents from a two-room office in Clearwater to consumer markets around the world. You know what? Microsoft came out of nowhere, came out of the garage. Why not hydrogen technologies? The duo is already in negotiations with one U.S. automaker and the U.S. government. Their plans have grown from basic welding with water to powering the entire world from the safest and cleanest fuel on Earth. Members of Congress recently invited Denny Klein to Washington to demonstrate his technology. Now his company is currently developing a Hummer for the U.S. military that can run on both water and gasoline. I have concluded that it's based on a few people making a lot of money and gaining power. We have cartels. We have a whole set of cartels in an area, interlocking corporations, and behind this, we have a few people who are quite wealthy and who own most things. It's about ego. Everybody's trying to be the big monkey. It's really as simple as that. Who's control of patrolling the world? A lot of the people think that Iraq, Iran, and so on and so forth. They don't. They don't. We control it. Us and the British interests and the world, the world interests. Well, some people refer to this the secret government. I would say that in terms of profiting from the status quo, you uh, know, big oil. Uh, there are certain geopolitical and financial infrastructures uh, that would uh, not welcome a, a definitive replacement to the fossil fuels. So what we get is the great Armageddon everybody's been dreading. The energy crisis going right now, in my view, will probably evoke a great Armageddon that we've all feared so long in about 2007. It's about a few people who really are playing an old, dangerous, costly game for their own pocketbooks and power struggle. People in power right now don't want us to know is that this free energy is available to everybody. We can tell, I will tell you, and we can prove this with other scientists who are ready to come forward, that we already have a complete replacement for any fossil fuels or ionizing nuclear power plants. We don't need them, we haven't needed them, probably have not needed them since the time I was born. The quote cover-up of this issue that has been going on for the last 50 years is probably the biggest single threat to our democratic society. This is the greatest strategic threat to survival of the United States and in fact of civilization itself. It still bothers me that, uh, that uh, I've seen all this, I know all this, and like I, I'm walking around like with the answer and nobody wants to ask the question. I think it's time for us to, to act to, to end this charade. It's definitely time to, to make a disclosure on this. It's uh, been kept secret too long. One of the things that I'm upset about is that good people are forced to do illegal things. And I believe that this information should be given to the American public. It's the discovery of the... Of the, of, of the lifetime of humankind, isn't it? To find out that we're not here alone. People are walking around in a daze. They have no idea, no idea 
What is going on? The fools may blow the world from other causes. Don't misunderstand me. But they're going to blow it from this cause. A shadowy government with its own air force, its own navy, its own fundraising mechanism, and the ability to pursue its own ideas of the national interest, free from all checks and balances, and free from the law itself. Whatever activity is going on, to the extent that it is a clandestine group, a quasi-government group, a uh, quasi-private group, it is without any type, as far as I can tell, of high-level government oversight. And that is a great concern. We have contact with aliens not originating from some foreign country, but from some other solar system. And I have been a party to that.